Hi, I hope everybody had a good uh, holidays and ready to play some good to learn how to play some good soccer. Uh, so I am very excited to get back to uh, explaining you the practices and the coach is excited to get back on the field and start coaching the players again. All right, so this first practice of the new year um, for Kasarov, but the sec will be second week for uh, Infinity Park. Um, and this is just continuation, so this is basically practice number eight. Um, because for Kasarov kids, we already had seven practices in uh, December, November, December. Okay, so this will be focusing on defending. And here are some key points which we'll go over, you know, while we're talking about exercises. Uh, basically, the main things about, you know, playing uh, good defense is that one, only one player presses, unless there are some exceptions always, but only right now we will keep it as one player presses, the other prevents the split and covers. If we're talking about two defenders or more. Uh, when you defend, you obviously need to stay goal side, keep forward in front of you, not behind. And then, when we're talking about defending as a unit, uh, you have to, we gotta stay together. We can't just run each one uh, chasing the ball. So, that requires you to communicate and look at what your partner's doing and make the best decision. So again, it's always about thinking. It's not just running hard and pressing the ball. Um, that's what we call a, a chasing the ball like a dog. The dog will just chase the ball. We are much smarter and want to move as a unit together. You know? Um, okay, so the first exercise for young group, again, we're going through the same thing. Young group might go through some moves and skills, then 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, uh, which I already explained. Every group going to go through 1v1, 2v2, 3v3. We think it's just essential to spend 20, 30 minutes on this just because that's you know every player needs to be able to dribble every player needs to you know have a lot of 1v1 situations and 2v2 in small then the young group the next exercise will be 1v1 defending with two targets so yellow are the targets and this is a ball for example it's a blue ball targets are neutral so it's a blue ball blue gonna open and this defender needs to focus to prevent, if he can't just go here because then the pass is going to go through and that's a point. So the defender needs to stay, prevent that pass through, but also as soon as the ball comes here, the defender needs to close this. If the player plays back, the defender needs to get there. So this is again between preventing the pass and providing pressure as soon as the ball played. Ball back, this way. The goal for blue is to get the point when the ball goes this way or if he's here, the ball goes this way. From one target to another, that's a point for, for, the team, for the player in possession. So now then blue goes here, and now trying to move the ball this way. If red wins the ball, now he's in possession, blue defender play there, and now we're trying to move the ball. Each time the ball goes from one target to another, it's a point for the player in possession. Uh, and then, uh, the, this exercise, which is, Again, right now it's two defenders, and they're playing against four uh, players uh, in this square. And you can see that I put in green two gates. So the way red want to move the ball um, to the to the our player is by two ways: playing to the wing, and the wing has to dribble, not pass, but dribble the ball, and then play. Or, they can do it by pass, if they're playing, for example, by the wing or, or just a split pass to this center mid, he turns, he has only two touches and plays the ball here. Okay? Then, if that all happened, these two support here, these two support here, these two trying to win the ball now here. Now we're going the other direction. Again, focus on going through the red wingers, cannot pass from here to here. They can pass here, but they cannot pass here. So, if you see the player here, the defenders need to shift, prevent that pass, and prevent that dribble. 
Okay, uh, defenders can't play for a minute. So if they win the ball, they still play the ball and keep defending. And then in a minute, we're just going to get two new defenders and to change positions. So we're not going to change every time we win the ball. Okay, in this exercise. So just let the players, the monkeys, play for one minute for defenders. You know, and then uh, you can we can make a competition how many times monkeys win the ball. Uh, and then just switch put new two new monkeys. Okay. So that's it for the young, young, U7, U8 age groups. You know, good, good exercises again, prevent dribbling, that's what defender needs to do, prevent dribbling through this area and prevent the split, split pass. So that's a good exercises for, especially for center backs, that's pretty much what they need to do. Okay, dribbling, uh, so don't let to dribble through the game. Okay, they, all the groups, and I think it's the same activities for uh, both old, uh, you know, U9, U10, or U11, U12. Yes, they will start from this exercise. It's a 4v2, and just simple rondo, keep away. Everybody played it many times. But work, it works like this. A little bit different than probably you you used to do. Is um, if let's say we're moving the ball and then. This player wins the ball, the monkey wins the ball. Both monkeys go switch. They switch with a player who lost the ball and the previous passer. So if the ball comes from this player to this and then this player loses the ball, this guy goes here, this becomes monkey, and this guy goes here, this becomes monkey. If a pass went from another player, that player. So two last players who touch the ball basically uh, before losing to monkey, becoming monkeys. There is one exception is that if monkeys get split in between they will have to say and then they win the ball later let's say they win again the ball they will stay an extra time because they got split so blue trying to get split the monkeys that will keep monkeys for extra round so if they split five times this way or you know this way then uh, monkeys gonna stay five extra rounds every time they win the ball it's just gonna one round expire so you blue can keep the monkeys there for a long time, but the goal is to make sure that. Uh, uh, so this is this is again this is the exercise where we provide pressure and cover. So this pass cannot go here. Pressure cover, not stay like this. Otherwise, it's going to be split. Cover there. Pressure cover. You know so. Always cover, don't stay flat like this. If you're flat, you'll be split and you'll have to stay longer. Yes? Then the old age group comes to this exercise, exactly the same as I explained. That's going to be the second exercise for all the age group. Uh, very similar, you know, I mean, again, the goal is for these defenders. Now they don't stay longer, they just stay for one minute, for example, and then they switch. But the goal is now prevent the split this pass and prevent this player to dribble through the gate okay uh, all right so and the last exercise actually we already did it before it's seven blue you can see seven blue players against four monkeys blue just moving the ball that's how they situated um, very straightforward monkeys again press the ball and if they win the ball they can score in one of these cones gates. You can see this green in this case, there are going to be cones behind the field, which they can score. So they can turn and just shoot the ball here. Or pass the ball here, and he turns, pass the ball there. So a few points in this activity is the way we pressure. The closest player, let's say the ball came here, and that's how red, uh, like at the moment. The clo closest player to the ball, for example, let's say it's this way. This guy goes press the ball. Now we need to cut off two immediate options like this. And maybe give a little bit of space so that he thinks he can pass, uh, but he can't, and also that this pass is prevented. So we're preventing these passes, long passes, and also ready to press immediately. If the ball goes here, we're ready to press. Okay? So that's how, this is the biggest thing. And then one player stays in the middle, covers that zone, this pass through, etc. So 
Don't go all the way to one expression and pressing hard. I mean we really going at this player. We're not trying to guess, we're just going at the player and trying to win. This needs to be hard. And then this pass, and this pass it needs to be it can accomplish, but then this player needs to be at immense pressure so he can play out. And then the center mid needs to be covered by this red. If red win the ball, for example, blue just don't stay and watch how they score, but right away get in here and also play defense, pressure, and uh, don't let, you know, red to score the goal. And win the ball back and go back to your spaces. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, if it's in possession. Okay? So, this is it. It's a, a lot of thinking, a lot of transition between uh, attacking and defending in this exercise. Uh, and th this exercise more or less said, but this exercise also quickly ch change. Uh, this exercise is more for defenders, more or less said. This is a huge transition defending. Uh, even in possession, you can work a lot on, on this exercise all right so we hope to see you soon um, and um, learn a lot about this and again one of the biggest things which is missing in american soccer players don't communicate if players if red don't communicate in this exercise they will never win the ball or they will be running like a dogs chasing the ball they need to communicate need to understand who is providing pressure who is cutting off angles all this needs to be done before just running, uh, instead of just running, you know? So communication is a big thing here. You're not going to be a successful defender if you don't communicate. Even in this simple exercise for v 2 these two players need to say who is providing pressure on the ball, etc. In this exercise, the same thing, okay? So focus this week, I want to focus on communication in defense. So not just when players in offense open and asking for the ball, but now we're just going for the ball, but you tell them, everybody that you're going for the ball, and this player uh, says that he cuts off through the right, left, and this player stays in the middle. So can we look as a unit? For example, the ball moved this way. Now this player is a close, he will go, this guy will cut off, this guy cut off, this guy here. He needs to say that he goes to the ball so that we don't run, everybody runs to the ball. Okay? All right, have fun, and I hope you'll learn a little bit about defending. All right, thank you.